y'all welcome back to chocolate covered pages i'm kiona and today i am going to be doing a book review of despite the odds let the streets choose by janelle morgan so i'm gonna pop a picture here so my arms don't get tight okay so let's get into this book right this book is about a kid named bishop and we find out at the very very beginning of the book that his mom has passed away from being shot and they literally come and get him in his classroom and tell him that his mom has just passed away his mom was on drugs but you know she was still f somewhat functioning as a mother so he still was feeling very upset about it you know it was only the two of them and now he's pretty much alone he doesn't have any other next of kin so he ends up going into a he ends up going into a foster home right this foster home i already knew from the beginning that this foster home was going to be no good okay there is physical abuse there is sexual abuse like this is a foster home from hell pretty much and bishop realizes pretty quickly that you know what I really need to start making my own money so I could get the hell up out of this crib because this is not for me. He's only 16 but he already knows that he needs to make his own money so that he could try to run away and get out of this house. So he ends up meeting this other kid in school named Little Tone and him and Little Tone end up being thick as thieves, you know, super tight and he tells little tone like yo like i'm really trying to get some money and little tone's like okay you know i'm gonna hook you up with my friend and then we're gonna start selling weed so they start having a little business selling weed you know making money and stuff like that all the while bishop is thinking in his head i need to keep compiling money so i could get the hell up out of here and then i could go back to my old neighborhood because at this old neighborhood there was this you know older gangster named corn and corn basically told him when he was you know when he was leaving to go to the foster care home like yo i got you anything you need i got you um you know just hit my line right but bishop was like you know what I don't want to just call him on just some, you know, fool la la regular shit. Like, I want to call him when I'm ready to come back, right? Finally, he builds enough to be able to go back. And Coin ends up setting him up and giving him an entire block for him to control. But Coin ends up getting locked up. And when Coin gets locked up, that puts bishop in a situation because he's like okay you know what do i do now right and he really has to end up pivoting you know and when he pivots everybody don't like this pivot that he does not everyone likes it and they definitely make it known that they got a problem with him pivoting okay <laughs> But, um, there's always gonna be, you know, rivalries and there's always gonna be people that's within your crew that they pretend to be down with you, but they're not actually down with you. So, um, I enjoyed reading about that for sure. I just kept thinking, like, is he really 16? Because he didn't read as a 16-year-old character, um... You could probably chalk that up to the fact that he had to grow up very quickly. One, having a mom on drugs. And two, um, you know, going through this whole situation with his foster home and just needing to just grow up really fast so that he could make money and take care of himself, right? That's not the typical life of a 16-year-old. So... I was like, okay, you know, because he seemed very mature. He ends up, you know, getting his whole thing together. But when he's doing this, of course, you have conflict. You have workers messing up. And they're costing you money. One thing I liked about Bishop was that he was all about his money. Like, he wasn't with all of that shoot him up type of stuff. You know what I mean? Like, he just wanted to make money. If you was costing him money, you a problem now. And he really would try to like, you know, kind of work with you or whatever. Like, 
he was not super stone cold, you know? Like a lot of these gangsters that we tend to read about in these books. Now, what I will say is that I did enjoy the sex in this book. I did enjoy that. Um, there is a lot of pedophilia in this book. That's not the part that I enjoyed, <laughs> by the way. My only gripe is the fact that I felt like there were some conflicts in the book that they didn't, like, it just kind of got wrapped up with a bow. And I would have just wanted to dig a little bit more into what the hell is really going on. You know, I ended up with a few questions towards the end. Um, but I still feel like this one was a very solid read. Um, there's a good story behind it. I love the whole section of the book when it was just, you know, him and Tone just getting money and having dreams of, you know, doing bigger and better things. With Bishop now going back to his old neighborhood, you know, and really rising and he kind of like skipped the ranks really because corn just was like here here's a whole block for you to control you know what i mean and he just really just had to kind of figure that out um he did have a girlfriend at the time but this is not what i would consider like some kind of romance or a kind of love story um their relationship to me was a bit strange <laughs> a bit strange because shorty would be going crazy about silliness and then in the next breath she'd be like okay i'm cool with this and i would be very confused as to what like how did it just switch up like that real quick you know what i mean so i will say that 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 relationship to me was a bit puzzling. I did figure out the twist pretty early on, but what can I say? You know, I do this. But that doesn't take away from the book. But I will say that this was a very solid, coming of age, gritty urban fiction novel. Like, when I tell you bodies are dropping, folks is going to jail, like, it's, it's going down okay this is the t this is what we look for in a gritty urban fiction novel this ain't no romance no 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 this is definitely a uh, coming of age because he is still very young at to at the end of this book he's 20 so 16 to 20 like that ain't that ain't nothing usually we're used to see main characters um that are already an adult you know and they have a different mindset but we're getting this mindset from bishop of basically get money but anyway i just wanted to drop one here and tell you guys about this book um make sure you decide to pick it up if you do make sure you um hit me up and let me know how you feel about it and i will catch you guys in the next video bye bye